Hello everyone! Uh, so I'm here with uh, Alot, who is I think uh, going to co-cast with me, I'm not sure. Uh, he's muted right now, but he should be uh, with me. Uh, if you can hear me right and if everything is right on the stream, please tell me. Uh, because I don't have it on my feedback, so I have to watch. Uh, and with the one minute delay, it's a bit uh, late. I'm Moti. Uh, I've uh, not played a lot of uh, less match User matches, left but your I channel. should have played a few. Uh, like I've trained for a few of them and I've casted a few of them when I was uh, referring and no one else was available for casting. So I will try to provide the best casting I can do. Uh, if, uh, of course, you have feedback, go for it on the chat. Uh, hey, Lot, uh, how are you doing? Hi, I'm doing fine, and I'm looking forward to see another Linksman's practice match. Yeah, so today our fighting uh, TATF and PTSD. Both teams are from uh, Miller. Uh, TATF is an NC outfit, uh, one of the largest on the server. And uh, PTSD is um, an alliance between uh, EDIM, DTWM, I think, and there is uh, two other outfits, I don't recall them. I think one is Dicty and the other one, um, let me figure that out. Yes, DTWM, Dicty, EDIM, and FRMD. Uh, sorry, I was uh, answering for some stuff. Uh, so it's uh, um, uh, an alliance uh, of teams. Do they? I think they have played a few matches already. Uh, I think the one with uh, who was already casted with uh, by uh, Shevki and um, and Arshi was also played by them. Uh, so they are practicing for sure. Yeah, definitely. They played a practice match against uh, Bork from uh, Kobol, which is unfortunately not playing in the lane match. But um, and then I've seen them do some other. Practices runs on different uh, lanes, so they're definitely taking this serious, like preparing properly for a uh, tournament. And uh, TATF, is it their first match? Because I, from what I've known, they haven't been uh, super involved in competitive, so it's nice to see them uh, training at less match because it can be a really fun uh, uh, setup to both uh, train and uh, improve, and it's uh, also a lot of fun to get. Uh, a competitive setup uh, for uh, those kind of outfits. So, what do you think? Uh, they, uh, where, where do you think they want to, to play that way? Uh, where do you want, think they want to, to join Lane Smash? Uh, so, this year we actually advertised to get a lot of more newer teams in Lane Smash. Um, we've separated into three brackets, um, which means new teams uh, will face more new teams, so, to, so it will be an not so hard learning experience for them. Um, that's actually, and it's really, really great. I've seen 10, 15 new teams that this just come out of the blue, and that's very, very nice to see. Um, this is TATF's first uh, Link's first practice, yeah. I actually don't think they've even done uh, internal training as well, so it's going to be interesting. All right, uh, so for the record, we know that TATF didn't add enough players, so PTSB has been, has been uh, nice, and they uh, added a few players uh, from their reserve to TATF. So uh, that, uh, at least the match is going on, and TATF will have its practice. They for sure will need to, uh, to bring more players next time, but at least they, they are trying, and PTSB is, uh, is fair play, and they are bringing uh, players so that we can have a match tonight, so thanks to them. I see we have 64 players on the on the on the on the chat. Uh, that's nice. I hope uh, all of you are interested. I see some uh, nice uh, people from Miller, uh, Shader, Invites, uh, who we have, uh, Gaspar, Angie, uh, some people I don't really know. Uh, let's look at the map from uh, for today. Uh, we are on Izamir and we are on the Frey Mani Lane, uh, which is uh, quite interesting. I don't think there's a lot of uh, lanes with biolabs and not uh, arm stations or. Uh, a tech lab at the end. Uh, uh, money is an interesting. I'm not going to show the map. I'm stupid uh, because I shouldn't be uh, showing what uh, both teams have. Uh, sadly, uh, it's going to be a bit complicated for me now that I show a bit. There, I mean, there are actually four lanes uh, in total. Um, that has the already bio lab. Yeah, bio lab to either a tech plant or uh, a station. Okay, I, I I didn't know that. Uh, so we have a middle base, uh, which is uh, Aura uh, Material Labs. Pretty classic uh, setup with the, the banana building, uh, the two uh, pathways, and the, the double stack one. Uh, 
Uh, it's uh, going to be quite interesting to see where the teams bring uh, Sundays or Galdrop, or do they manage to uh, maintain hair dominance. Uh, it's, it's a base with quite a large setup for Sundays, but if you control vehicles around the base, you will not be able, you will uh, control who has Sundays and who hasn't. So it's going to be uh, either you bring it with uh, airdrops, with Valkyries and Galaxies, or you manage to have the control in the ground, and you can uh, maintain Sundays. It's also uh, based with a lot of hills around, so you can have a few, maybe an harasser or a tank with uh, some anti-infantry weaponry. Uh, but you cannot really shoot very well inside the building, so you will have to push. Uh, especially since it's a, a neutral base, you won't be able to respawn. So you will have to bring from the uh, banana building or from uh, this uh, double stack, uh, this uh, double uh, building too. So the L building. Uh, I'm not sure it's called by players, but we will have. Uh, a few uh, ways, uh, interesting way to see uh, who and how do people uh, try to retake the base or where they attack from once the first push and the first drops are done. Do you think uh, TITF will manage to bring a, uh, uh, a pretty big infantry or they are going to focus on the vehicles, maybe try a bit of uh, air uh, dominance or do you think they will focus mostly on infantry and try to have a stable defense before doing anything else? I mean, I don't know TATF um, or how they play on live server. Um, I know most new, completely new teams to this format um, mainly thinks that it's about the uh, ground stuff, the vehicles, and the infantry on the point. Um, so I'll definitely expect them to go hard on uh, hard on armor and infantry. Um, the main, the main thing that newer teams usually lack is air, and I think they will be lacking there as well tonight. Okay, and uh, PTSD, they uh, remember Sam having a few MBTs. I think they also had uh, aircraft uh, during the, the first match. So I think they have uh, some experience in how lens smash, what's the, the lens smash meta. Uh, do you think they will also try to first dominate the, the, the air uh, if they think they have, uh, they can be a dominance to TITF or do you think they will play a bit more, not casually, but you know, more uh, less, less combined army and more like uh, infantry play and try to dislodge uh, TITF and maintain dominance and just have a, a better tempo than them or they're going to go full tryhard and uh, try and dominate them uh, from the get go with uh, vehicles? Um, so I actually played against, uh, PTSD on their match against, um, Bulk and I, they had like 15 people in the air. Uh, so I expect them to go hard in the air as well. All right. So the match will start somewhat soon. Uh, I'm going to remove the, some part of the text. So I don't uh, have a, a text on the, on the screen for the whole match, like last time. For the other watch, the the outfit was. Uh, sorry. No, no, I, I'm, I'm removing something from, uh, I have on the screen right now because uh, for the outfit was, I managed to uh, keep the the match going to start in like 20 minutes on the screen for the whole match, so it was pretty uh, annoying when I saw that saw that at the end of the stream. Oh, yeah, that's probably a good idea to get off. Right, so I think the match will start in just like a minute or two, so he's just locking on and uh, things it up. All right, you should be good. If you have any uh, comments or if you have any uh, prediction to make on the Twitch chat, the, go for it. Uh, we will see it in a minute, but we'll see it. <coughs> uh, since there's a few dis uh, discussion about uh, right, do they know for today, they know just what... testing all call. All call is good. Uh, we can see the right enough people on the on the home bases at least. That's nice. Yes, yeah, I'm as far as I know. To see, uh, TITF, Lizzie. Yeah, I'm actually excited to see how they're gonna approach this uh, type of play. Yeah, I think I think it will be interesting because they haven't been uh, much involved in the community and uh, you know training in, on Jaeger. Uh, I know they have been uh, training for scrims uh, lately, 
uh, which is nice. Uh, so I hope they're going to 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 keep doing that because uh, it's it's good to see outfits with uh, players in the game trying out and uh, joining Jagger and doing competitive events because that's what is needed. And it's nice to see a lot of outfits uh, or teams joining for Land Smash. Uh, so we can have a quite a lively uh, community on uh, competitive. Uh, especially right after those uh, tweet wars were quite interesting uh, to watch. Uh, a lot of things to change because it's not the best competitive setup for sure. But uh, we have land smash for that, so at least we can have a lot of matches and trainings and uh, competition, uh, which for sure we're going to enjoy. Oh yeah, most definitely. Um, actually, we have up, we have 19 teams signed up for this uh, The match will tournament. start on exactly 24 minutes past the hour. Okay. I'll give you a countdown. Right, so that's Into around, minutes. yeah, around two minutes. So we have 19 teams signed up. Um, whereas, 19? yeah, 19. That's, whereas that's I, a lot. I'm pretty sure at least six, eight or ten of them have are almost new to whatever Jaeger and competitive plan side is. So from what that's, I understood, there's a Three brackets, one with top teams, one with somewhat uh, teams with maybe some experience or somewhat good players, but not that much uh, experience in land smash, and a bucket for really completely new teams. Uh, is that uh, correct? Yep, that, that's completely com correct. So we have uh, an A bracket, uh, which will have all the uh, 45 seconds to match. Tryhard, stacked up teams that knows how to cheese and make a land smash really just unenjoyable for for their opponents, and then we have the B bracket, which is the biggest one of them all, um, which holds all the all the mid mid tier teams um, that are lacking in some aspects or are still a bit new, uh, and then we have the C brackets, which consist of completely new teams. Um, Fifteen seconds. It's going to be really really interesting. Ten. Yeah, I think too. Nine. I'm, I'm really interested, eight, in, especially the low bracket seven, and the top six, brackets, because they're five, the most uh, four, challenging and three, most interesting to see. Two, start the one, two. match start. All right, Definitely. hopefully All right, is match working start. correctly. We are going to uh, go and see what's going on. Uh, we see a lot of ESF from. Uh, yeah, PTSD I am following TR. TR. Yeah, TR has a That's guy like a lot of air. ESFs, a lot of ESFs. They, oh, what is there is one uh, for one uh, trade here. Good air battle. I mean. And see on the point who is on the point. TR, I think, dropped a max. Is lots of practice. Uh, NC on dropping on the point on the banana there. Uh, they TR are going dropping to have a in surprise, behind them. Uh, because I see TR inside the building and there's four maxes, four AI maxes. Five, five AI maxes. That's a surprise. I think PTSD is uh, telling um, TITF that uh, the captain agreement for no AI maxes is uh, generally a thing. Otherwise, it's not really fun. Uh, I mean, it I depends on who you're max. actually playing. Like. Most of the top tier brackets also like to just know everything is allowed. Well, let's play the game as it's meant to be played. Oh, that's nice because last I haven't uh, watched land smashes for a few years, and last I played everything competitive, be it server smash or land smash, was no AI maxes. So I'm I'm glad the AI maxes are back in the game. If they brought I think a nice uh, um, nine night management, uh, so it's it's good. I see TITF has a lot of vehicles. Those vehicles are not on the points. That's way too many vanguards, I think. Yeah, it's a definitely a way too much armor here in the beginning, but this, the base is neutral from the get go. So right now, TR is just warming the point. Like, NC still has three minutes to get themselves together, go make oh, a final NC, push, if, no, no, steal that, the cap. That like that's did not uh, uh, C4, the vanguard. Uh, we are seeing one, two, three. Uh, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten vanguards. I think that's way too many uh, vanguards. Uh, they are going for sure to have the control of uh, who has Sundays around the base, but they need infantry on the points. And they, they definitely need are infantry going to point. bring the numbers on the points if there isn't. Uh, those people are sitting in vanguards. It's uh, lonely, uh, lonely heavy run. Oh, you got destroyed right there. Yep. The few NC people starting to funnel out. But they need to make this a combined push if they got to do anything about those maxes there. Uh, we are seeing yeah, maybe half a squad uh, trying to pick and get a few kill. Uh, they are definitely understood that there is 
Yes, we have four NC people point. inside the banana. So, yeah, it's not going to work out very well. I think JKF has um, two minutes left to understood that they need to get on the point with infantry. Uh, they don't have a Sandy, I think, around. I'm not seeing a Sandy, so it's going to be... Uh, it's oh, they have a Sandy, they have a Sandy, they have a, they have a right Sandy. however, that one harasser, Vulcan harasser, is uh, focusing it, and of the 12 vanguards we've seen, only one is shooting at it, so that vehicle control yeah. is not working out very well. No, I, I thought actually at the, um, the NC finally left their vehicles, but no, they were just spread out all around the base trying to find yeah. a way to, to shell inside, but it's just not happening. There's still one minute further left though. I'm going to follow that Arasar because I think the point is not that very contested. That Vanguard... Oh, that was friendly fire. Ooh, that Okay, that Lightning uh, is doing the good job. Like, he's on the right spot, uh, he's doing the right thing. The other ones, are, they are struggling to keep up with that Arasar. That Arasar is now dead. The sheer amount of Vanguards for sure control... Uh, oh, here comes the mad TR ah. air back coming over the hill oh. there. Are they going to focus on the vanguards? Is the AA from the vanguards uh, be enough to, uh, to destroy the sun, the Yeah, it mosquito? looks like all the vanguards are running Ranger as a secondary. That's nice. At least that's a good thing. Uh, right now, I think NC is starting to slowly try and push, but that doesn't seem like a coordinated push. And uh, TR is strongly on the point. I'm going to stay inside the point and see if a push uh, managed to go inside. Uh, we are seeing NC a few people push inside now, the yeah. Two NC Max is trying to push in. I think they're oh, gonna be taken care of so fast. He's hiding, he doesn't have an engineer. He has a Falcon. Oh, has NC Falcon. is pushing is now. Dead. We haven't seen uh, that push, didn't work out. Those two uh, Maxes have. Uh, been dead and I think that's uh, 415 and I uh, go. Is it 400 or 300 for maxes? I'm not sure. But we are seeing those maxes desperately low. Those Falcons worked out, but they just needed more infantry support and maybe one more max. For it yeah, that's for gonna it be a TR out. cap. Let's see how quick they are on the back cap here. Uh, yep. Uh, yeah, yeah, they already have a Sunday over here at the next base. We have a small push. I think those Maxis, they are dying. There's, I think, too many Maxis for TR, not enough engineer. Uh, five uh, Maxis was probably too much. We're seeing the Maxis going pretty low in life uh, for some of them. And they already lost one or two. They might get revived though. Yep, they, this one had a revive. So TR is holding good on the point. Now the question is, uh, do they have a uh, capture on Fred Geothermal? I'm going to watch the point here. Um, yeah, they already have a... T already has boss over uh, Freya Geothermal, but there's no really any pop here. Uh, I'm seeing a Sandy for TR, so I think someone is on his way uh, to the point. Yeah, uh, I see I so. two is NC that... people going for the point, and the pop here is not really That's that high. It deployed. might be me, though. Is it an undeployed Sandy? So oh, I'm big seeing mistake. NC on the A point on uh, Freya Geothermal, so at least they are defending their, their point. They have a uh, Three people on it, two EV and one infiltrator, so it will be tough for TR to send uh, pre cappers. Now, if TR managed to drop on the point, that will be something else. And TR pulls new armor, who's now slowly taking care oh, of all those uh, yeah. leftover I'm vanguards. I'm seeing two RSOs and a prowler, plus the aircraft, so yeah, the, the vehicles from uh, NC uh, are being killed, and I'm still seeing a very strong squad on the point. Wait, uh, so. It looks like TR just decided to, alright, we're just gonna stay here and turtle this point. Um, not really moving up for the next base. That, that's somewhat sound because I don't think they can extract those No, here they, they come, here they come. I see four, four or five TR people going oh, in yeah, six even more point. now, yeah. If they can manage the point, they can just let the Maxis hold the point for some point and just ready break everyone else. Yeah, because the they, are, the, the they are flipping point now. Just, we can just, just hold bosses, are... get the Maxis in, If you're get looking for feedback base. on the lens smash and how to, how to train, this base uh, aura is useless now. Uh, we just have to look at uh, Fred Geothermal because as long as the point is captured there and uh, NC is not uh, recapturing it, it is no point to be on the aura. I'm making perfectly English, uh, English uh, front sentences here. Do not worry. Tierra seems to have somewhat, uh, like not a squad, but like half a squad, maybe eight players on the ground. But they have aircraft above, and I think NC, if they are trying to respawn from the spawn room, are going to have a hard time. And if they try to bring Valkyries and Galaxies, they might not have enough. We are seeing uh, NC pushing one by one out of the, the spawn room. That's going to be tough for them. 
Um, yeah, that's just gonna be uh, easy pickings for those uh, air people. Um, TR has one, probably one of the best flyers in the game. Uh, Puff A flying around somewhere. Uh, we are not seeing a lot of NCM reaching the points, and those are because they were light assaulting uh, near the trees. Uh, we are seeing a burst amongst that. That might be a good idea, at least, uh, to deny the air around the base. Uh, that might allow the, the infantry to push from this one room. We might need to be uh, a few more um, assets from T uh, NC here. Maybe a harasser or two to uh, kill the Sandys. We are, I'm still seeing the Protoss changing uh, a lightning, a Skyguard here. Uh, that Skyguard is dead. But we we are going to NC will need to uh, to bring a bit more than infantry coming from the spawn room to uh, to push. Although they have managed to reach the building at least now. So let's see what's happening. Here yeah. doesn't have maxis on the point at this time at least. No, there's uh, not much uh, cheese actually brought from uh, TR on this display. They got a single harasser running around the side. Um, there's no real buses blocking uh, blocking that one. They just got their air people just. Banshing everyone just run over the open and field. Doing enough, I think, because there is no consistency in a push if you just get um, shot from the, the air. We are seeing somewhat of a squad. Oh, that T4 is going to help. Uh, NT doesn't seem to control a lot. They have an AI Max, but he doesn't have an engineer, so it's tough on him. He's already mid life, and I can see EV is picking out, and he is not dead yet. He's. Uh, one so, I mean, to put some context, um, PT, uh, PTSD are what I consider probably one of the higher bra uh, B bracket team, um, while TATF is in the C bracket. Um, so TATF is actually playing a team that is in a bracket that's higher than they are. That that's like, props props to them for that. That does the mic has not uh, changed weapon. He know he can just. Get at the terminal. He was at the spawn room, and he could have. Oh, NC pushing, uh, NC pushing up to the building again now. Oh yes, the TR okay, is just uh, that set up inside. Is bit, getting buried by a banshee. That's uh, TR actually. Uh, NC actually getting inside below. See if they can push up those stairs now. We're going to some sample queue here. NC is trying to push the stairs, but TR has a pretty good, uh, pretty good uh, hold on the building. The C4 out is raining down. It's yeah, the NC is just pushing one by one up those stairs. They need to make a combined push to actually yeah, do anything. Right now, it's just they have picking them up one here. by one. Sadly, they are not uh, killing the right people, and that uh, anti-infantry uh, threat is also helping a lot. That's yep. That's a good try. Yeah. At least they are pushing out, and they managed to reach the building. That's interesting to see. Let's. See oh, and push from the other side there. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, nah, that, 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 oh, that Max. That Max is uh, just arrived. Uh, will I think? Kill yeah, that's gonna empty. clean clean up that, that cap. That bait is going to go through. Let's see if uh, TR has a, a back, uh, pre capper on the arm station already. Uh, because how is that arm station? Is it a multi point one or is it a A point one? It is a multi it's point a one, multi yes. Point one. Interesting. So that's going to be a much harder to uh, to defend and uh, much easier to defend because you can always concentrate your population on a point, recapture it, kill everything around Beacon Sundays, and get to the next point. And that's going to be really slow to capture. How are we on time? Let me check. I think we are... 7, 16, 17 minutes left of match. Uh, 18 minutes left. 18 minutes left, alright. And see, taking back that uh, A point on the... Yep, the, the, On the M station. Now let's yep. see, do they have anyone up at next base or back? That's up? a good wipe. That's the first good yes, wipe from, they do. Uh, from NC. That's so. Uh, because we gotta remember, like, that TR is just in front with two points right now. So if NC pushes for the freight your thermal back up and actually cap that, then it's back up to two one. Yeah, like the, the score, like there's 18 minutes left. NC can still do a lot. We have 80, 95 people on stream right now, that's really nice. That's more than I had uh, streaming the outfit was uh, yesterday, so um, it's good. Lane Smash is just the best format. Yeah. Oh, to be fair, I was streaming the silver and the gold bracket. Uh, in, the, in the bronze bracket, so there was a lot more people. PTSD, GSDing, uh, Sun is inside the point. Inside the central building, but there is no point here, so yeah. Maybe you shouldn't be here, buddy. I mean, 
they can just in and get actually get a hold of uh, NC's last vehicle spawn spawn oh, options. That's right, that's right. Because they are not allowed to pull Sunnies from elsewhere. Maybe the warp gate they can. Yeah, they can pull from the warp gate, but then they have. I mean, this is their final base, anyways. But then they have to go to their home base before they can actually go out into the lane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's going to be tough. We can see that uh, NC is capturing the second point. TR is uh, capturing another one. Every point is tripping right now. That's a good gameplay. That's going to be a lot tougher on PTSD to uh, manage all three points. That's going to be some uh, management and uh, spreading out. If I was there, I would probably put a squad on two points and try to uh, let the capture go through that way. Send three capers to the third one and maybe uh, rotate. I'm not sure. Uh, that's probably how you can try to handle those, those, uh, those captures. Uh, however, if NC Control set uh, their population on the second point, it should go through. Yeah, I mean, NC just gotta switch between the points, keep them flipping all the time, um, and then hope they catch a break where they have all the freedom and have one man uh, one up up the next base to get a back cap going. Otherwise, we they're pretty much locked down right now. Arasers from TR on the point, uh, pretty low life arasers. Was is it? Is it? Can't no. That's a bulldog arasers. Okay, interesting, interesting. Uh, that's not the weapon I would have picked, but. Uh, that could be interesting. We can see also AI Maxis, uh, of course ESFs uh, pounding on everything on the ground. NC doesn't have a big presence, they still have the B point. Prodders are around the base, uh, I'm not sure how TR is going to use those. Uh, it's definitely going to be a lot tougher than uh, RSs or uh, Sundays, but at least they are here. Uh, it's interesting to see no, no Sundays uh, getting inside, I'm not sure if that's entirely possible, uh, but you Oh no, I don't think you can get Sundays inside this Maybe a bit better. Oh, you can definitely get Sundays inside uh, everywhere on this amp station. You can drive them up the stairs, use the walkways between... Uh... Oh yeah, yeah, uh, that's why we, we saw Sunday uh, trying to go get through there. Uh, NC is not pushing coordinated. I'm seeing people soloing around and that's... I mean, that might be possible to get a push here, but... Uh... <coughs> maybe not with solo people and maybe not with squad uh, sticking together, but you will need coordinated action. Uh, we can see a few NCs pushing uh, the A point. Uh, the Banshee sadly is not working out well for them. Uh, but we can still see one, uh, I think, Decimator killing a Mosquito here. But uh, they are still hardly on the, uh, strongly on the point. We are seeing a few NCs going from the back. But, nope. but yeah, you definitely you're 100 right. Like lane smash is all about coordination and cohesion. Uh, you need to be full committed when you do stuff. You need to work as a team. Um, otherwise, you're just one one against 24. Yep. We see a big hand push uh, some of some way with like two, three, four people on uh, TNC, but that did not hold uh, well. Uh, they are trying to hold that tower was as well, which is a pretty good point. Uh, those AA turrets maybe need to be uh, used for some uh, for some time. Uh, those Valkyries, I don't know what they are doing. Maybe they're trying to get a beacon on top here. No, no, no. They're just uh, flying around. NC managing to have beacons and trying to contest the A point. The A point is flipped back. NC has the advantage. The timer is not going to tick in their feathers. Uh, that's good. That's going to be really tough. If they need uh, they there we to... get a Sandy from that TR. Oh yes, that's going to be tough. Nice. That's a work. Wait, is it yep. a deploy Sandy? Oh, it will be. Can you deploy it here? Oh, you yeah, can you can deploy, deploy it here. here. But that's you should have just brought be... more. Just drive that Cobalt bus up on that point. Just yeah, destroy yeah, them. That, that can be uh, pretty uh, strong. And see, as two points. That what I was thinking about is that it uh, might be easier to defend uh, multi-point uh, bases. However, it's going to be much tough, tougher to get out of it because it's um, you have to control all points and you can always have pre-cappers uh, harassing you on all points and you will never be able to capture the, the geothermal point because of that. So it's going to be an interesting way to see if NC managed to recapture fully the bases, recapture all the points, and then uh, pull out uh, and uh, manage to get a, po a capture point on Geothermal. NC is slowing recapturing the base, it's only 2 minutes, but uh, the A points has flicked back for TR. Thanks to that Sandy, we are seeing, I think, is that first? No, it's an AI uh, Max. Uh, and, oh, that light assault managed to kill the Sandy, good job on him! 
Uh, that clock is on the, uh, hasn't managed well uh, to uh, survive for long. Uh, we are seeing the Bulldog. I think it's a Bulldog too. Yeah, the Bulldog Arasaur is getting on the A point. We have an AI, uh, A, A, uh, anti entry max. So uh, NC actually pulled a Sky Guard. Um, oh. Don't think that's gonna do m much for them right now, to be honest. Yeah, there is too many. Bang uh, I'm seeing. Uh, not use problem, but I'm seeing Arasas around. Sandys, another clock, uh, Sandys. Uh, that's. And uh, Tier is managing the logistic of the game very well here. That putting Sandys behind the wall so that Light Assault can get on the point even if they lose them. They are uh, using ESFs to pound anything else you can get. They are, are cheesing uh, vehicles inside the base. Uh, NC has really has a struggle. They are manage managing a few pushes, but man, is it tough for them to achieve anything right now. And the points are flipping. B point is also flipping for uh, TR uh, right now. Thanks probably to that clocky Sandy here. <coughs> Sorry if I'm cutting on the stream. I'm not sick, I swear. Uh, yep, that's going to be a point which isn't all by uh, a full squad, but a few light assault is enough to take the point and retake it when uh, NC managed to get uh, a full uh, squad on it. That Sky Guard is uh, getting. Uh, Arresting enough the mosquitoes, so they are not on the uh, on the uh, on the arm station. And I'm seeing rivers uh, fighting those mosquitoes. They managed to kill two. That's good on them. And I'm seeing a third one on the ground. Uh, and what yeah, the so NC here? might actually uh, retake control of air now. Yeah, they, they might. They might. Now we are seeing the payback. It's payback time. Uh, the I mean, there's still like what ten minutes remaining of the of the round. Um, so if, if NC can actually gain control of those points and start pulling out, out some uh, what's it called force multipliers yeah. and make a push. Like they still have time for that. Because on nanite wise, I think TR is probably. Uh, a bit lower, or at least like the people who are managing the logistics for here, they probably a bit lower. They still had to pull more um, Sandys, they're pulling Maxes, they're pulling uh, ESF. So those people who are using uh, who are nanite intensive gameplay, they might have a harder time. But NC hasn't used a lot of their nanites. I'm not seeing even like a big max push with uh, one one buster and a few anti infantry maxes. So they can push a point. Maybe I've missed that because I'm focusing a lot on the A point right now. The C point has flicked back for the uh, NC. That's nice to see. NC yeah, is NC fighting back. Pushing they're doing the point best. as well now. Yeah, the C point is, uh, is first. The A point is uh, is going for uh, NC. If I don't get stuck inside the, the tech round, the B point is fought over. Uh, we are seeing uh, light assault and EVs fighting. Oh, they got. NC oh, now we see some nice uh, harasser driving, getting them up there on the. Uh, on the A point? Middle, middle, uh, just behind. Oh, points, that's uh, Sandy, yeah. Just behind C point. Yeah, we have a arrow, sorry, from the top. Uh, he is the. Uh, and not even bosses sure coming died. in there now. Nice oh, to see. Sandy's, oh, that point, that C point is going to be much better. What is that? Is that that's Bassus, Sandy's, and uh. Oh, it's, it's a clocky Sandy, I don't think it's uh, intended to fight. Uh, I think it's intended to stay low and uh. Those Sandys we are seeing here, wait, that's also... I think all those with the lights on top of it, like the square, is uh, our clocky Sandys, and they're trying to stay low and uh, just get uh, deployed. Yeah, yeah, that's what I am most talking about. There's one with a Fury and a Walker on the back, then we have one with the two uh, Basilis gone. Air that from NC, NC I got, is uh, doing enough, but we are seeing TR hacking the AA turrets and uh, denying uh, those rivers uh, the laser to uh, pound TR. TR at two points, the base is two minutes away from a capture. We are seeing a few clocky Sundays uh, alive and uh, providing TR with some uh, much needed uh, respawn because they NC has. Uh, bringing back uh, a bit of control in the match right now. Uh, it's interesting to see them. The A point is being flipped. Let's go on here. Who's on that? It's a lone uh, engineer who died from the air. So yeah, the, those aircraft, uh, they are doing a good job. Uh, the A point is saved. The B point is going to go strong. I think until NC kill that uh, Sunderer, sun they are not going to uh, uh, regain control of the B point because uh, Tia can just uh, redeploy one on assault here and uh, 
and just flip the point here so this is going to be tough on the on nc until they uh, discover that uh, sandy the sender as dying though that's going to use that's a uh, tough on uh, on tr i'm not seeing uh nc uh recapture the c point here there is no no push not uh, just killing the sandys as much as they can i mean they do need to destroy their spawn points so we can't just uh push right back in after they've taken the points that's the thing we've been we will see tr do like they might lose the point but 30 seconds later they're pushing with at least 12 people back onto it oh waiting a small pressure on Minty. it's a bit spread out but they are pushing let's see what's inside that uh that base that's a max but that max is taking oh let's see tr now coming from the a point that C4 that worked that nice that was a good suicide and that like that's all he's still alive wow really good job on him but the beacon from uh, tr is oh that medic managed to revive the max wow that was something the jackhammer killing maxis that's great oh the aircraft the the rivers are doing their job and allowing uh, NC2 recapture the point, but that's sadly too late. I think that's the end of the, the round for uh, TR. I'm going to yep. stop the overlay. That is the end of round one. Uh, so that's a 3 0 to TR. That's, uh, that was a tough uh, call. That uh, that um, arm station was uh, much tougher on TR to recapture. They had pretty much complete dominance on the, the two previous bases. The arm stations are a lot tougher to, uh, to recapture, and they it's much tougher on the population management, so I think that will be interesting That's to That's round. Uh, so TR and NC are going to flip uh, bases. We are going to go back on Aurora. Uh, what did you What did you think about the um, the fact that NC managed to um, recontrol the air um, again? Do you think it's because uh, N uh, TR did not pull ESFs again, or do you think they just uh, focused on getting some these inside and the aircraft uh, player, players just uh, stayed on the bases because it was more important for them to have players and bodies on the ground well, than Good job uh, to PTSD and fantastic uh, effort from TATF. We're going to switch the sides like up a now. a combination of things. Um, TR realized that they need more people on the ground to actually control all these three, three points while NC actually had that lone... Um, what's it called? Ship. Uh, the lone sky thing uh, going. Sky going, um, yeah, and they had yeah, the rivers. And uh, they could have used the air turrets on the towers too, like uh, the tier guard, uh, guy who hacked the turret and used them to uh, to annoy the... I don't think he killed the river, but uh, for sure the river stayed away from him. Uh, it was quite interesting uh, to see that. Uh, I'm yeah, but I think the main, the main thing that, I... that N like if NC needs like, to improve on from, uh, from round one is just being more cohesive, grouping up, uh, doing pushes together instead of doing the one by one. Uh, the, end, uh, the round ends when uh, one team managed to capture the home base. Uh, so if we look at the map here, uh, the home base for TR uh, was uh, Mani Barrier Lab and the home base for NC was um, Fran Session. So from the moment one of those bases is captured or if the timer runs out, uh, it's the end of the match. Uh, so of course uh, we are not. Uh, there is a, um, a timer, a 30 minute timer, so that uh, the match doesn't last forever because capturing a biolab or an obsession can be quite hard. Oh, good. Thanks for the feedback on the sound. Uh, okay. So do you think uh, the biolab is going to be easier to uh, capture than the obsession? Because on the obsession, the points are uh, much more spread out, and NC has a few ways to uh, a few angles to attack. The biolab is. Uh, much harder to uh, it's much uh, easier to spawn camp but uh, i think do you have access to the the, the teleporters uh from the the satellite bases as a tr oh wait as, as a... uh no you, you are not allowed to use the satellite bases um oh. spawn at. however you are allowed to use both spawn points inside the biolab uh okay i'm I think that changed from the times I played, so yes, I'm that not is correct. super aware That is a new thing this worked. year. That, that's interesting. Like From what I've played on the live server, those uh, spawn points, uh, the fact you can spawn directly on the on the teleporters, uh, it's really nice. It's probably doing much more fun and more, more, much more dynamism in the biolabs. Uh, however, for the lens matches, I'm not sure 
uh, if that uh, is going to help the uh, defenders or not. I think it's, of course, a big help for the defenders to have another spawn point. However, TR, is it going to be enough for them? Because uh, we are seeing TR dominating the match, uh, rightfully so. Of course, the ITF uh, running a lot, I think, from uh, from those uh, those that first round. Do you think they're going to pull a lot of Vanguard at the start now, again? Um, I definitely think they're going to have a heavy amount of them. Maybe not as much as many. But, I mean, it's not like it didn't work for them. They just needed to be quicker to go in on the point. Yeah, like, we, we, we've seen the Vanguard sitting and doing nothing. And when the Avasas and the, the few uh, Prolos came, it was already too late. Um, I think, I hope they're going to bring more infantry on the point. Maybe more Maxis too. And they're going to do gather up and only have a few um, a few uh, vanguards uh, just to control the, the area a bit and have a have a, a thunder so they can respawn and have more um, dynamism in their attack and more options. Uh, it's going to see uh, we're going to see if TR will pull as many maxes because they were quite loose, useless at the start. Maybe that was um, a lack of nanites uh, that could have been uh, used uh, even more efficiently for them. Uh, five AI maxis is really, really strong, uh, but it might be too much to hold the point. We've seen those, uh, if, if they are more under more uh, strain, I don't think they're going to uh, be able to stay alive a lot more because we've seen not enough engineers for those maxis. Uh, the map is big setup. We can see that uh, it's good now. Uh, the M session is not uh, flipped. Uh, how? Yeah, I'm doing it now. I'm just uh, taking a little time. Yeah, yeah, no worries. If you have questions, if you are discovering uh, lens smashes, uh, go ahead and ask questions because uh, now is the time. I don't know how long the break is. Uh, I think it's only 10 minutes, but uh, that that's uh, a good amount of time to uh, ask questions. There's minute delay, so we are going to have uh, to wait a bit to see your questions, but no worries, we will answer them. It's 114, that's nice, that's really nice to see 100 people watching Lens Smash, uh, which is just a training match, so it's really, uh, it's a pretty good uh, sign that people are interested in, uh, in Lens Smash. Uh, I'm happy that the, uh, the, mat the stream haven't crashed, or at least I have no, I didn't have any feedback about that. Uh, equal prop is to add 40 No, 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 TITF uh, is uh, doing good in uh, training in Lens Smash. Uh, it's the lens smash meta is very different from uh, live server, so it's of course tough for them to uh, manage uh, a more much more dynamic and more, more much more controlled environment. So props for them for trying out. That's the the thing we need to say. Uh, maybe they can make their name live on the training alliance and train hard and uh, get uh, a good place in the, the lens smash uh, community. We have seen the people training hard on the lens smashes and get really good. Uh, and that made a few outfits uh, go from uh, mid-fits to uh, really uh, hardcore uh, teams. Uh, I know that 1APC and FRC trained a lot uh, for doing lens smashes, and uh, that turned many of their players from somewhat good to really good, and their organizational team, that the leadership turned into really good squad leaders and platoon leaders especially, uh, and that was helpful for uh, server smashes at the time. Yeah, they, uh, they are plenty of guys mode. playing for TATF, but of course they're going to be uh, better uh, and have much more weight uh, than TATF on their uh, on the NCT. We're we'll starting up again on the hour. You can go to your home bases now. Okay. Uh, so we start yeah, five, five minutes, minutes past yeah. the hour to give you time. Five minutes past the hour to start the second round. Maybe maybe TATF need to to find another outfit to uh, to make a team. Uh, we have for uh, Lens Smash, or is it too late maybe for that? Um, so Sinus already have closed, but I'm pretty sure if TTF comes with, hey, can we add this outfit to our roster? Um, it's gonna be probably gonna be allowed. Um, most outfits do tend to group up because going through a lane smash tournament, yeah, you need 24 people for the actual match, but you need like a 35, 40 man roster in total because then people can't play on that day. Someone won't show up. Uh, you, you always need those extra people. Yeah, agreed, agreed. That uh, that's uh, PTSD is composed of four outfits, so that's pretty uh, 
uh, impactful for them. Like there are four outfits from which they can pull uh, players from. Edim is somewhat large, FLMD is somewhat large, DXT has a few quality players and a few pilots. And uh, what's the last one again? Uh, FRMD, Edim, uh, DTWM, which is, uh, I'm not sure who they are, um, like who they are exactly. I haven't, I don't remember much uh, contact with them. Uh, they're somewhat medium sized, a bit like DICT in size. So that's a good amount of players from which I can pull. Of course, having a lot of players inside the the game and uh, uh, enough players active on the vocal servers and in the community and willing to participate in uh, in uh, competitive and training is, are two different things. Uh, yes, King Bear, some outfits are going to dominate. However, there are brackets uh, during the tournament, so the very good outfits are not going to uh, to uh, throw dirt at the others because they will be fighting good outfits too uh, and good teams in general. Uh, no, Vice, um, Vince, I think TITF plus K could be an interesting team. Uh, since you know K is a god bracket uh, outfit for our team now, uh, they could they could uh, they could use. Uh, that prestige and uh, team up with TITF to uh, get um, a place in the glory that is uh, that is uh, a lens smashes. Yeah, definitely. Um, All the uh, winners of the Alpha Wars, um, they should definitely try out this uh, format as well. Because going one we one instead of one we one we one, where you can uh, double team and you can kind of exploit when someone is being pushed hard by one of the other factions. Um, it's just not happening here. Here it comes down to you, your strategies, and your people against the other team, against the other guys. And the selection process, uh, process too is much different. Uh, there is a big difference in uh, players you can... Uh, you can and the teams who are going to participate because if you just qualify with numbers uh, after grinding and captures on the on the um, on the live servers and qualifying through brackets or just because you sign up and you have enough players to play on Jagger, it's two different processes. Um, the Office Wars can provide a somewhat interesting and I'm going to be big quotes on that, but competitive setup for Planet Side because it's how the live server is, but is it a competitive setup? I'm not sure. And from the interviews I did with the captains uh, uh, during the when the, I casted the match yesterday, it's not um, really they, they aren't feeling that great in regard to how competitive it is. It is a lot of fun, and I've had a lot of fun casting. Uh, that's for sure. I think yep the the map the overlay should have been switched correctly. Uh, right now we are just uh, soon uh, a minute before the match. Uh, if you have any question that you you want me to ask the the team captain, uh, go for it now. We we'll try to remember remember them uh, during the interview. Yeah, and, uh, while we're on the uh, overlay, big shout out to HTP who made this uh, script for link smash. Um, type in the factions yeah, and the lane. That's and you really just, useful it tool. Uh... Just takes care of the point scoring and everything. It's uh, amazing work. I'm seeing contributor in chat. I'm seeing a lot of people from uh, from uh, Miller uh, talking. Uh, that's nice to see uh, a few a few people here. Uh, I might edit the the scores on the. Wait, no, I don't need to. I'm stupid. I can even remove the text. I just can leave the name of the casters actually. Ah, uh, sorry, I was uh, dealing with something. What? No, 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 don't worry. More, more like talking to myself. I mean, that is pretty much half of, of casting stuff is talking uh, to yourself like there's other people. Yeah. Oh, Boon, BHO leader confirmed. From what I heard. Oh. That'd be interesting. It's fun to see those, uh, those uh, like, uh, experienced players joining K or BHO or uh, uh, other large outfit to participate in, uh, or like, um, pull them up a bit. 
So it's quite uh, it's quite interesting. Uh, sadly, a bit filled with too much drama in my uh, in my uh, own uh, taste. And I do like drama, but I don't like it when it's uh, wrecking my community. Uh, I'm much sure rather uh, be in a community where people are competing against each other in a fair play manner. But sadly, that's not really the case. Uh, not for it was for sure. Uh, Lens matches. Um, I think it's going to go well between teams. I hope so at least. I mean, the thing is, when going into Link Smash, you know this is a competitive event. event. Outfit Wars, I'm not sure if they even advertised it properly, because there were different opinions on how to approach those things. Um, whereas Link Smash is just, it's a competitive event. You know, you you play to beat the others, but you will play to have fun, of course. Um, I mean, it's some, some healthy, friendly banter between the teams are always always good, as long as it doesn't get personal or yeah like, exactly really aggressive the match should start soon again uh if i look at the map i'm seeing i'm not seeing a lot of NC on the bio lab interesting no they're all at the warp gate let me go check this. and they might pull the vanguards from the warp gate and uh, bring them to bio lab they do have to do that because they don't have the tech plans, so they have to drive them yep. all the way. Oops, I'm not showing NTR at all. I haven't shown any of their uh, vehicles, I swear. I mean, I can't seem to. I mean, I'm not gonna tell on stream like what they're doing, but I can't really. See. I I'm, I'm going they're... to go watch what they're doing. Uh, uh the NC? Yeah. Yes, they're loading up in galaxies right now. Oh, okay. That seems funny. like they're not. Going armor at all. That's nice, that's nice. Let's hope the match starts soon so we haven't given any intel to TR. Game resumes in two minutes. Two minutes, okay. Let's see what is TR doing? I've seen I've, I've seen a few things. Uh, I think they might try to counter a few uh, of what the uh, uh, NC has pulled at the start of the previous round, and uh, would be interesting to see the differences in vehicles. And did TR try to counter uh, the vehicles from uh, NC, or did they um, they just wanted to see something? We can see a galaxy in the air, and a few mosquitoes doing uh, weird movements. Uh, yeah, I think PTSD is gonna run with what they did last time with just a huge amount of air at the beginning, and did, then did they have Protoss and uh, Sandys at the start? Yeah, they had. Oh, I missed that. Uh, they well, had maybe, a few died, maybe um, died uh, from all the Vanguas uh, that uh, NC pulled. So yeah, I mean they started going off the road, and then they met that those like 12, 13 Vanguards just shelling them down. Match resumes in one uh, minute. It's multi controlling the camera right now. So one minute. I think I'm gonna follow and see. It's gonna be interesting to see. Hey, I'm going to. I'm going to. Uh, I'm already. S ah, I'm doing bad obsec with the camera right now. Thirty seconds. But I think NC is loaded up. their full twenty-four people. Hmm. I think I have an idea of what they're doing. That's, that's going to be uh, interesting to see 15. the much-needed much difference in the opening move oh, from NC. Oh yeah, starting soon. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. Alright, let's see uh, TR because I can see the two galaxies from NC and it's uh, indeed much different. Uh, we are seeing a much bigger uh, vehicle pool, I think, from TR. Uh, three Protoss, two Sandys, one Clock for sure, and this one is probably a... Uh, we just them oh, a yeah, this one is going to be a fight for the point, just oh, infantry people. Yeah, let's get to the oh, point. Oh, NC not getting team. in fast enough there. NC is on the point. Too. I'm hearing the, the shotguns. Lots of Maxis. Way too many Maxis, but a lot of Maxis and a few engineers trying to stay alive. Those Maxis are getting pushed. I'm not seeing Founders. Is it Founders here? Yes, no, Founders Maxis. No, I think... Is it, is it Founders Maxis? Maxis? Yeah, NC has no... Uh, they just have full-on shotgun Maxis. Um, no I'm Falcons, Falcons or anything. Oh, that's Falcons, I think. Yep, there is... Wait, where is it? I saw you. Uh, 
Is that a Falcon? But uh, NC taking first control of the point yeah, now, now it's 3 minutes and 30 seconds. That's, that that was a good push on NC, like 44 play, uh, 24 players on the point, that's what they needed. Maybe they're going to bring uh, their first point on the match that way, and that's great, because pushing those maxes is going to be tough. TR probably gonna try and regroup now. I think they saved a few of the maxes from that failed uh, oh, point attempt. Okay, okay. Oh, it's showing TITF and having three points. Uh... Oh, yeah, that's wrong. <laughs> so it's currently PTSD with three points. Uh... But that might change in the next three minutes. NC is set up good on that point. I wonder how they're counting the points then. I need to turn this one out if it works, but I'm going to finish. TR's getting ready for a push now, gonna push in small stairs maybe? But NC is set up. Oh, they pushed around, going in, into the servers. Now up the big stairs. I've, I've, uh, I've, um, I've tracked the, the team from the overlay now, I think. What's going on? NC is really, really set up. But not really covering the top of uh, uh, the Oh, TR has a Sunday on the, in on the base now. Oh, so yeah, I'm seeing TRs all the way around uh, on, the, on the base building. I'm seeing Sundays, I'm seeing mosquitoes around. So NC is stuck inside the building and they are getting harassed from everywhere. I'm seeing founders. That's uh, AI, another Thunder Max, yeah, those TR, they switch to anti-max weaponry, and that Bulldog is uh, going to shoot inside, right on the, the staircase, uh, those Max are not going to stay alive for long if they stay here. And a good TR boss holding on, on between uh, the tops with a couple there. NC has but been a much better um, control with engineers, like I'm not seeing a lot of engineers with both uh, Maxis on the TR side. Sorry if I get you. No, I mean, I'm surprised to see NC actually doing so good with just going full on infantry, just going for at least that one cap and then working from there. But it seems like TR is starting to push up the big oh, stairs now. Oh, those stairs, yeah, those stairs are getting pushed, and uh, I'm not seeing a whole lot of NC maxes, and they're really low in life. I think TR will be able to push. I'm seeing the small stairs being Oh, well, yeah. A good C4 or 2 right there, and the whole TR would... Yes, yeah, that, uh, a squad that left, But I don't think the NC are going to be able to... Uh, There's 40 more seconds, they just have to hold it for 40 seconds. They might be seconds. able to do that. If the medics manage to revive those maxes... But TR need to, need to push, it, push it. Oh. But C force could be really damaging to train and push from the stairs to the, uh, the point. And that's going to be really hard. That's 25 seconds. I think we're going to see a uh, oh, good old fashioned good. rest oh, war yeah, on I that think, point. Oh, the, uh, the tier push is going uh, as slow down. Uh, they are not really having a wall. Uh, many point, uh, people here. Those maxes. Oh, are there's a few TR only, people inside on the point now. Oh, I, 10 more end, seconds. Uh, TR's getting in. Oh, the point is flipping. That AI Max is going to kill a lot of people. The NC are come on, NC, come on, NC, five eights. more seconds. They can do it. That AI Max just just saving the uh, the, the NC. That is going to be a point for TATF. Oh, NC is back on the point. Those people lost. are working. That's really good uh, for uh, TATF right here. So it's 3-1 right now. If TATF manage and they get points uh, capture on G Fred Geothermal, we might see uh, them back in the game at least uh, in the score uh, for sure I mean if, yeah, if, if not if not this just gotta be a big uh, morale booster for the entire squad what is the, the other list, uh showing it's showing for yeah so uh, yeah my bad so it's not 4-0 it's 3-1 uh, for uh, PTSD but uh, TATF just managed to uh, capture one uh, one base, so it's the first point here in the in left match. Uh, the Sundays uh, below the stairs are uh, getting uh, killed, uh, but they TR is pushing from the banana building with Maxis with Thunder. Let's see. Do we have any? Do we have an NC guy up on the next base? 
go, go check out because right now TR is pretty I'm checking, I see it's small no. NC oh. pop. I see a NC beacon. The NC we push down just oh just an NC try? They are tank mines, they are C4. I'm seeing a lot of C4 being used to kill those maxes and that's getting pushy is quite a lot. Yes, we have an NC guy actually coming for the point now. Oh that's I'll be just great. wipe the TR guy. Light, oh, but a light assault takes care of him. Is that another uh, guy? Yes, NC is gonna flip the point off on Freya Geothermal now. Oh, that's nice, that's nice. NC need to redeploy and do the same thing again. That building is going to be much, much... Uh, uh, oh, but he ran uh, out, light assault going around right, the building here. Uh, base. Uh, if NC managed to keep the point and bring as many maxes around the point, they and can do it. Another NC guy coming. Two NC light assaults. Oh, the point is not flipped. No, he oh, flipped it's it. It's flipping. It's flipping again. That infiltrator is fighting the light assault. Two light assault. He can do it. A medic is here. That oh, the infiltrator is really saving the point right now. But I mean, this. Oh, that TNT. This is a really strong uh, and second NC round. TATF is pulling off. Point. Now the T now the TR Air Force comes. Yep, NC is going to have a trouble bringing but players here. Yeah, no. but those Banshees are not really gonna do anything like when they're inside on the point and I see they are, five, they are six going people to kill in there. The beacons, and I'm afraid is NC push uh, with galaxies and Valkyries and try to do a drop, they are going to get annihilated before they get inside the building. The point is, oh no. NC has a few beacons around the base too, but I think those Valkyries are real. Really, they are going to take care of that. Yeah, but the most important is like they're taking down time on the next base, which means. If they get pushed off, TR have to wait for now, what, 40 seconds, which give NC time to set up for another push with armor or more anti air. Uh, I'm seeing a Vanguard launch, maybe checking if there are any nice Sandys around, but they are now not that I can see. Now TR's coming back into yep. the point or what? TR is going to do pretty big push here. I'm not seeing any maxes from anyone. Yep, TR seems to have a pretty good control on the, uh, the building now. I think that's over for that anti push but that was a good one at least. They tried, they put people on the point uh, after capturing a base. That's what you need to do and uh, they're probably going to fight around uh, that A point now and uh, try to defend uh, Aurora. Now, let's see if TR or NC is on the point. I'm seeing fighting around, uh, I'm seeing uh, aircraft. The point is still in the control of the NC. I think they probably still have a squad around here. I have trouble managing my camera, don't worry guys, it's fine. TR is pushing, we have TR on the point here. Shotguns, but NC is in strong control of the point. They have Max here, they're not going to die. So, TR still has 15 seconds before they can actually start capping the point. Do we still have an NC guy up at the previous phase? Let's go check. That delay, that the fact that they can hold that point and they are, uh, they they managed to capture the point for at least a minute. It's much, uh, it much uh, needed uh, breathing air so they can uh, still defend our raw material labs and try again. We can see uh, the backseat from TR coming. Uh, we need to watch those tails. I'm sorry if I'm not watching the fight, uh, but here TR is pushing. That mic is not going to take it up for very long. That medic, yep, he's coming back. Oh, that Falcon Max is dead when we need him. Uh, those Maxes are pushing too. There are three Maxes pushing inside the point now. Uh, they are still in the doors, but that Max is not going to stay alive for long. The AI uh, shotgun Max is uh, doing pretty good job against the uh, TR Maxes. However, that's sadly too long. And I'm getting battle wrong farting by just watching the map, the fight, because I'm on the TR Ops cam, so. But I'm being yeah. put in by it, Washin. Remember, guys, Washin. What's that? What's that? that? That's an NC Galaxy dropping on Freya Geothermal? No, not no. Oh, but only two people in it, though. And they're getting air hammered straight away. It's too late. Like, TR is on uh, Aurora, on the point with Maxis. And they have a decent squad on it, maybe more. I don't think NC can uh, do anything right now but to push. Uh, maybe first destroy the Sundays for from TR and get the push from both uh, both sides. Uh, yep, you're not going to be able to leave the spawn because there are mosquitoes in the air. 
You need yeah, sun, so. either Sundays or uh, some kind of AA to uh, to deny uh, the aircraft. If I was NC right now, we pull one or two Buster Maxes and uh, you know get uh, get the. No, the Buster the burst Max is just really, really, uh, and then I uh, intense. Yeah, but you can always swap to uh, to an anti infantry or anti vehicle uh, setup, and it's not going to cost you nanites. That's true. Uh, Toby, yeah, it is really nice layer. It's uh, made by a Typic, who's made the uh, official caster overlay and grip for uh, Link Smash. Yeah. Thank you for the people uh, managing the score on the comments because I have uh, I fucked up the, the overlay. Yes, yeah, so the score currently is three to one. Uh, in. In favor of PTSD's favor, yeah. But that round, uh, Ed did in the lead, and they are 1 0 for that round. So they need to capture two more bases to get in the in the, in the equality for the score. But they are doing uh, pretty great so far. Uh, they need to recapture that point, though. They need to manage to get a, a solid push around. That's tough on them. Those maxes are getting inside, they are spawn camping, and that max with no support is not going to. Yep, you need to get to safety, dude. Yeah, they need to make that push. Um, seems like oh, here it comes, here it oh, comes. Oh, they are, they are, they are, they are. Here the oh. push, big, big push with Maxis. That's but they're splitting to... off. Why? Oh, they... that, that was not a good huge. call going. Yeah. Oh, that Max is doing. So oh, and going to there die. we He's get dead. the Cobalt boss just that's running over the Maxis. That's going to happen at those those forces, they are ready for. I don't even see the Maxis. Wow, that push got that. destroyed. There, that was good. That's we have a play by TR for know seeing how that. Maxis dies, but there's at least three, uh, maybe four, five, six. Ouch, that's not good. At least six dead Maxis. That's a lot of nanites that are not going to regenerate until the end of the match. Yeah, so the match is 30 minutes per round, um, and you regen, what, 50 nanites per minute? Yep, that's going to take a lot of time to be able to pull as many maxes again from at least the players who pulled the, the maxes. But we've seen uh, Medic choosing Res Grenade NC for that must be Nanite Intensive too. NC might be in, um, in a complicated situation because they probably are going to get low on Nanites while Tier hasn't lost maxes and then lost um, Mosquitoes for that second part of the match. It's going to be tough on them uh, to, uh, to manage to... Uh, yeah, but NC, like NC now should just pull out of the space. They're not gonna go anywhere near the point. You just go back to their previous base, which is gonna be many leg, and set up for defense. Yeah, that could be a good idea. Like have um, maybe lose but, the point again. That's fine. Like you, you manage to get it and you manage to hold it for some time. But if you manage to defend the next base and uh, wait for Tia to leave Aurora, uh, you might be able to re re uh, relaunch a capture on Aurora by defending Manilek uh, good enough. But I think uh, TR is smart and they are going to keep having players on Aurora. And TR learned from their mistake and are gonna be fast on the next pre-cap. Oh, but that guy got destroyed on the point. They have a clock Sunday near to the point. And that's they do have a clock really Sunday, but the guy going for the point just got killed by an NC heavy waiting that for him. That NC Arrestor is doing a good job. He is drifting around trying to find Now more them. NC people are coming to defend. What, what weapon does he has? Uh, he has a Hellbell, okay, that's not, the, that's not the best one. Those Kaigwas are doing a good job. They are watching each other. That uh, lightning is completely crookless to the, the Kaigwas being in the air. But those Kaigwas, they might be a good call. Those Kaigwas might just realize they have a lightning, an enemy lightning next to them. Uh, the point is being attacked. Let's go on there. Uh, TR doesn't seem to be able to get inside. Uh, now, TR max, NC max pulled and more maxes. Yeah, that's what they need to do because that's how they are going to hold that building. They need to, to get a good defense to run the, the, the two doors. Michael got destroyed there. The more uh, NC holding... Inside. I mean, NC seems to be good at core uh, planet side infantry mechanics of point holding. So, they seem to be holding up pretty well against the uh, TR forces. Tia seems to have a good hold on the vehicles uh, around the base. Uh, they have clock Sundays, they have Sundays, they have ESS. That's really interesting. They are bringing Maxis. Oh, that Max is dead. Uh, it doesn't really go very far. Though, how that barrier are going to be a pain in the ass for Maxis to get. Oh, in. now those TR Maxis are pushing through the point. Oh, yeah, and that's a lot of NC from both sides. That Falcon Max needs to get working. 
and C4 yeah, on the Maxis. There it is. Dead. That's uh, the defense of uh, Mancini getting, uh, getting killed. However, they held for some time. They brought the timer down. Uh, at least they are. Have, um, they are not going to get as uh, the capture on the home base as fast as the last time. So that's good for them. Uh, now they need to, to, to set up a defense uh, an attack point. Uh, maybe they need to clean the sandies around, uh, pull a few um, a few uh, arrasers. Uh, I don't know with what kind of weapons, but they they could clean the sandies around. They could bring some uh, anti air and then be uh, quite effective uh, in uh, trying to push uh, the A point. Uh, TR is doing a forward defense. They are uh, pushing the spawn room and not the, staying on the point. So a good galaxy drop could try and. Uh, and uh, recapture the points. And she is not moving out of this point corner, however, that's annoying. I'm pretty sure there is a, tele um, a jump pad that they could push from the biolab. And I think we just saw that. We've, saw, we've seen an NC going through the jump pad of the biolab to reach the point. That could be a really good way to back cap uh, TR who are inside the building. And, uh, yeah, I mean, that... NC just has to switch it up, going co constantly from the, from the main spawn room. I mean, these these people in the air and just generally the PTSD team has played enough on life. Like, they know where people are coming from. They know how to sit up and do a, do a spawn lock. They need to do something different and try and uh, get TR by surprise. I'm not seeing... NC need to get out of that spawn room. They not to get out, like to leave it, but to not spawn it and get from the bio lab or get inside uh, galaxies. Uh, what are we seeing inside the the bio lab? Not a whole lot. I'm seeing a light assault. No, that's not the Oh, NC trying to do the bio lab push, but getting destroyed oh, by yeah, the TR. Air. No, that's an option. And Wow, uh, who is that? Not That's going Ben good. Mitchell, one of the team captains. Um, guessing what? Where is to Pat? See. Is he not here? Should be here. No, oh, there are RSs in the points. Is that Marauder? No, it's a Bulldog. Interesting to see a Bulldog here, sir. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have picked that. Maybe it's good for an anti vehicle too, I guess. Um, yeah, most people probably have gone with a cobalt uh, harasser or something like that, but I did over here. Snipsel saying he has to check it out. Might be something. And she has managed to um, recapture the teleporter building, so they are slowly pushing, but there's only one minute left, so it's going to be really hard for them. Uh, the point is back with Mike is inside it, so. Small uh, NC push trying that's to. That's going to be really hard. Oh. Uh, Look at that, Marauder, Arasas. There is no way NC can push from the point, from the spawn room to the point. It's not, there is way too many NC infantry weapons right here. Yeah, that is just disgusting with those three harassers shelling down each entry point. Mm. It's, uh, it's good to see that NC has managed to reach the point building. They, are, they won't be able to push right because those door. I don't think anyone will be able to push those doors to be the first one. How many? Did it... What's that? We're seeing galaxies with bulldogs shooting at the buildings around the point building. There is no way this could work. Uh, there is just way too much. We just look at this. You don't. You were in life server. You do not push. You just ready really with you see this. Yeah, you just don't care. Just don't care about this anymore. So NC might be setting up inside the bio lab now. Let's see what's go going on here. Uh, there is 10 minutes left. So can TR capture the bio lab in 10 minutes? That's the real question. Uh, they probably can do it. Uh, that's going to be really hard. Uh, NC should maybe pre-set up a few uh, spawn points, uh, Sundays around the jump pads. Um, get uh, maybe the, the medic spawn thing, uh, the water. Oh, and TR is uh, going to push. So routers are point. not allowed. Oh, look, no Just a reminder allowed. of new biolab rules the defenders can spawn at both available spawns. Okay, interesting. So you TR may still not spawn at the satellite base, but you may spawn at both available spawns inside the biolab. Alright, so TR. 
just pushed the C point with a lot of maxis. They are doing a good job uh, on that. C point is captured. I'm not seeing there as well, though I understand why. Uh, they we are got doing the generator that. taking the down. The generator is taking down. The SEU might die, and the that's two minutes, three minutes. Is a uh, two minutes to destroy the generator in uh, one or two minutes for the SEU. In three minutes, they can win that match if they. But they the NC NC will still have a point to spawn even though if they destroy the SEU. Oh, oh yes, of course, but that's going to be really hard to get out of it unless they uh, galaxy drop from the warp yet, but that's going to be one less option from uh, for, T for NC to push. TR uh, just seems to be focusing on that generator, staying up on the C point. And but, do remember oh. that uh, if um, TR want to uh, to maintain the SEU dead, they will have to maintain defense around those, uh, those two generators Press the points to capture the base. Meanwhile, NC just have to bring one engineer to repair them, and the SCU is back online. So that's going to be really tough on TR to uh, recapture, uh, to maintain the, the caps on the points and on the generators. And there is no ESF. That the ESFs are useless here. Uh, TR might have a much tougher time uh, maintaining control on the spawn points and on the NC movements here. So NC can can maybe defend the biolab for all that time. And if they manage to recapture all the points, they might be uh, even be able to recapture, uh, at least launch a new capture on uh, on Money Lake. Look at all those vehicles on Money Lake, they are now useless. You can just pull maxis and that's about it. I'm yeah, seeing, but it's not uh, going to take NT much from NC. It's NT. one push on that point and then they yep. just get a person up at the next... Uh, on the next base. But TR's got got it locked down pretty pretty tight right now. Starting to push out from A point and B point. Uh, those Maxis, they, those Maxis, they are here to stay. Uh, the minimap is not showing a whole lot. The A point is being creeped because it's uh, it's close to the C building. It's close to the generator. The generator is down, but I don't think TR can push the SU right now. Uh, they are pushing the Apon though, so they have a small infantry squad on the point. Uh, TR NT is pushing. Maybe they can uh, they can recapture it. I'm trying to zoom my minimap, but it's not working. Yep, TR is still strong on the points, uh, the A point and the B and the C point. They have now the angle to push the SCU. The SCU is being overloaded. Uh, NC uh, is uh, trying to defend it, however, uh, it might be tough. Uh, TR doesn't have a whole lot of uh, player inside it, but they are maxis and they have lights also around it. The B point is being fought over, I think, too. Uh, yeah, but there's been a, a one or two single TR guys trying to push in on the B point, but those NC people there are doing some really nice work holding it. Oh, they got a max here as well up on, uh, on the B point, NC. Uh, yeah, NC has a good uh, hold on the B points, which is going yeah, to... Yeah, comes Michael. Up. Let's see if he can deal with, deal with that. He's trying to oh, hide from Scat Max. Shooting. That's really bad. The capture is going to be really fast. That Max has... There is that. Oh, that was a nice Desi to the NC Max on the uh, B point. Oh, the Jackhammer is going to do job. Yes, it's not a Max, but it's a Heavy with a Jackhammer. So don't worry, the point is safe. And you just need to have people uh, back on it again. They don't have a whole lot of... Uh, great many of people... Uh, they Let's see what's going on. Back. What's going on over at C point now? Oh, C point flipping is tough because if uh, I was a lonely, a lonely uh, NC guy trying yeah, to do they, something, they to and the NC got destroyed now. The SEU is destroyed now. It's much, much harder for uh, NC to push. Uh, they are single link the B point. They are still trying to push the banana building. Yeah, so the only five minutes spawn point uh, NC has left is the uh, satellite spawn behind the B point. Um, so they're not allowed to spawn on the Manny Fortress, but they're allowed to use that uh, actual spawn point. So there is five minutes left in the match, but there's only four minutes 40 to capture the base. So NC has to capture and delay uh, the capture and try to recapture the C point. If they manage to hold that C point a bit, and TR is not able to capture all three points at the same Ooh, time. Oh, who was there? They might be NC guy over on C point now. Yeah. Yes, NC is taking C, C point. point. They might be able to uh, save, secure their home base for the rest of the match. 
Uh, B point is flipping for uh, TR. Uh, they have a lot of maxes, I think. I'm seeing a lot of maxes on it. Uh, but they might need to defend C point now. And I think those seconds uh, are really, really close now. Uh, it's going to be a matter of second. And if TR is not able to kill all points at the same time, they are might not be able to capture the, the and fire lab. A the point, a point is flipping. What's NC going on there? NC nice the job for NC. They are just dropping around points, the points, flipping yeah. them. They're still holding the C point, yep. Uh, they yeah, are not gonna take this uh, bio lab anymore, they, I think. Yeah, I don't think so. Especially if uh, oh, my camera is doing really bad. I'm sorry, people. Uh, the spawn lock is not working out. Uh, the uh, no. B point has been recaptured by TR, but that's time. It's still 4 minutes 40, and I think uh, I'm going to check the timer. Uh, yeah, time yeah, they 3 minutes 30, so it's going to be really close for... Uh... They need all three points, and they need them now if they want to take this uh, base TR. Yep. Oh, um, so that's one of the all reasons... So one of the reasons we actually went for having two spawn options inside the bio lab this year is it just provides better... better defense point from, from for the team that's pushed all the way back in there uh, to actually three minutes. try to do something about it. Yeah. There are three minutes left, and there is four minutes captured by Yolas with only two points. So unless TR capture three points, it's not going to go through. The SEU is being repaired. Oh my God! It, no, it's being uh, flipped again because it was repaired, and uh, maybe uh, it's surprising that um, that uh, NC has uh, had control on the C points, but did not uh, uh, repair the, the generator. But they maybe didn't have an engineer around here. The SEU is being fought over, NC is repairing it, so it's over, NC has a new spawn point, they still have uh, one point, they are flipping the A point, NC is doing a good job, I think they're going to, to hold it. Uh, TR yeah, I don't, I don't see to... TR being able to do anything um, to actually turn this over and get all three points. Yeah. Uh, NC is doing some really good kiting around, yeah. making sure no point is left alone, um, so as soon as they get pushed off, going on for the next... That, that defense is doing really good job, like they can push Two minutes. and split the population around and I don't even think that uh, if TR capture uh, all three points right now, it's going to last more than uh, two minutes. So someone is in chat is asking uh, how new the NC team is. Uh, um, this is probably one of their first real uh, Jaeger experiences. Uh, um, they they've done uh, some screams from what I know, but uh, I don't think they have done land smashes before, so half the TITF team is... Uh, Composed of uh, a few experience, and I'm going being experienced with Coats because it was the reserves for PTSD. But um, they, they generally they have uh, leaders and players who are completely new to this. I think we're going to ask them during the interview. Uh, it definitely. I also gotta points. remember that. Also gotta remember NC is uh, in the C bracket, while uh, TR P with PTSD is in the uh, B bracket, and I honestly think they are in like mid to high. On that B bracket, they have a pretty decent team with all that air. One minute. Max yeah, so is one minute the remaining. Point, but I don't think. I think it's over. I think NC is even. No, it's TR flipping the support. I'm stupid. I'm looking at it. Uh, Forty-five seconds. TR is uh, doing a big push to maintain that C point, but I don't think. Uh, I think it's over. I don't think uh, TR can uh, do it again, even if they capture all points. So yeah, uh, we can now see a nice fight around the C point. Uh, and Thirty is pushing. TR is probably uh, know that you cannot do anything anymore, and uh, they are not responding. Oh wait, they are on the jump pad, the north jump pad. Let's see are what they. they... Go? Uh, no, that's over. Oh, Fifteen. Okay. Yep. Well, congratulations on uh, on uh, Ten. TR, TR for winning and NC for putting a much better. Second run and learning from the mistake Five, and doing a really four, good defense of the three, bio lab. That was two, really good job on them. One. Match end. Final score 5 1 PTSD. Fantastic job by both teams. It was a really fun match to, to watch. Um, it was The dynamics were pretty clear on who was uh, dominating. However, the second one was uh, a pretty good um, a learning experience I think, for NC and they learned a lot on uh, the dynamics of a uh, land smash. Uh, def definitely, this is probably gonna um, give NC more than it gave the TR uh, to come out of this match. Um, NC sees that they have a lot of things that they need to have in mind when they actually play these things. Um, but 
still, like, they just took this challenge against the higher bracket team with, it, with the hair supply and actually turned around the 3 0 to a point lead in the, in the second round. So I'm going to gather the leaders for an interview. Uh... Insufficient permissions. Why cannot I give him a right? That's weird. That's what you need. Uh, User was I moved thought to I your could channel. be able to give him the right from uh, directly from the first uh, panel when you right click someone, but uh, I had to go in another panel. Hell, uh, uh, hello, congratulations for winning. Uh, I'm going <laughs> to you. try and get the TITF leader. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, you should be able to drag him. I gave him a roll. Yeah, but I don't want to drag him. Uh, drag oh. him uh... He's not. Wait, is he still on the server? Yeah, he's down in Team 2 Alpha. Uh, Red Wolf. Oh, yes, yes, yes. User was hey, moved low, to your I'm channel. Uh, you were not talking uh, when I uh, switched you. Red Wolf? Yep, that's me. <laughs> Hello, so uh, congratulations to both teams. So I have with me a uh, Red Wolf Doctor from uh, TITF and a senior brother uh, Ro from um, PTSD. Um, we are going to have a, a few interviews with you. So in the Twitch chat, if you have any question, uh, go and uh, type them. I'm going to try and ask them. Uh, I'm going to go uh, first with TITF. Uh, congratulations for that match. It was really interesting to see you fight back, even if you were against a more experienced team. Um, what did you think about uh, that match? Was it the, your first one? It, yeah, that was the first match. It was, I'm not sure what we were going to expect, but the first round was really quite difficult. They really uh, pushed us back. But the second one, I think we finally sort of turned it around. We didn't win, obviously, but we really worked on our defense a lot more, especially at the start and then at the bio lab. And that's when we kind of. I mean, that, really... coming out the second round of you guys was just. We, we we could see that you learned from what happened on the, on the first round and just oh, went yeah. full on on to get the point for. Uh... We learned to use our maxes and not just to rush it. At the same time, it's great to have the guys helping um, us out with that. That was really them to help really get all that advice and and also for you guys. You know, this is a great learning experience for us all. Boy, we've learned. Uh, um, yeah, Marty, he is in the lobby. Okay, okay, let me switch it. Uh, uh, who is it? Oh, ben. User All right. was moved there. to your uh, channel. So it's uh, there Ben, uh, stream from, uh, from PTSD2. Uh, so, uh, senior brother, um, you have seen a strong... Uh, you had a really strong opening with a lot of maxis on the first round. When you've seen uh, NC do the same thing and uh, they managed to hold the, the point on the, on the, first, uh, on the second round, uh, did you think it was going to be much tougher on the second round for you, or did you think uh, you were you would be able to uh, counter them? Um, we've seen you uh, a good, uh, having a good hold on the meta on the late smash. Did you think they were able to uh, to counter you in the second uh, round, or how did you? Uh, how did, uh, uh, what did you mind in the starting the second round? Yeah, definitely. Um, since a uh, couple of our guys were in the other team, they of course knew our opener for the second round, which was a bit awkward, and. Um, we expected them to go full infantry on that one. Um, unfortunately, we were too late to transition our vehicle guys and our air guys into the infantry and to get a synergy um, across. So we took too long to clear out their maxes. And um, that was a really smart move. Like I expected it, but I had no direct, um, direct uh, solution for that. All so right. we tried we tried our best with our opener as we planned it in the beginning um adjusted it a bit with the guys from the air and the vehicles um, but it was not enough to get the first cap on a neutral base so congratulations it was a very nice hold for them yeah it was it was really tough uh the air was trying our best to take it back but no we couldn't do anything they were they totally bunkered down um, Red Wolf, uh, you've seen the. Uh, did you know that the meta of, uh, of uh, land smashes was uh, turning a lot with having a strong air and maybe arrows and uh, not as many MBT as, uh, for example, you pulled for the first round? Uh, did you knew about that or did you just wanted to try out something and uh, see how it goes? 
Well, when with the MBTs, it was a strategy suggestion. We thought, why not? We'll go for it. It's the first time we're here. We'll see how it goes. So we pulled a load of MBTs, and that didn't work in our favor because even though we got loads of tanks out, we actually didn't have enough PP point. So when they got hold of the point, it was kind of we lost out. We pulled two Sunderers, lost them both, and then at that point, it was any more infantry. Yeah, because that is the whole point in actually playing Link Smash, is the combined arms, making sure like you have infantry people to back up the vehicle players, and just having everything work together in, in symphony. Um, Our second strategy was much more successful, when we thought, you know, scrap the vehicles, get on the point, try and hold it, and we were just, the strategy was literally, let's just try and hold it for the four minute mark, go from there, that seemed to work. That seems to work Got really well for you guys. And you actually also were pretty quick on the back cap up at the next base. Like we were really excited about that on the stream. Yeah. Well, we, we learned uh, early on that as you guys were taking the point, after about a minute, we decided, screw it, you know, we're not going to take it. We don't have force, so we'll just pull back, set up defenses, or you guys uh, start moving in with Sundras and aircraft and such. And that seemed to work a bit. It, was, it wasn't foolproof, but it, it kind of gave us a... Yeah, that so was uh, also partially my fault. Um, when I saw that we had no chance to push you off um, completely from the point at the like 30 second mark, I should have called in for uh, a regroup to get the push right after the cap. And we totally um, screwed up on the timing on that point. And then you got the back cap on us. It was really awkward. <laughs> uh, very well done with the back cap. We for, and for, uh, fortunately managed to get it back in time so that not much time was lost. Oh yeah, it was, it was tried after we tried, after we were holding the point, we tried to push forward, but we couldn't because you guys still had quite a bit of force um, at Aurora Materials and we just couldn't make, we just couldn't push out. We had, we held the A point, but we didn't manage to escape it, if that makes sense. Yeah. But, like, we took hold of the base. We tried pushing out, but at that point. And whoever drove that Sunder and ran us all over, that was... <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. We we saw we like, we saw you that guys getting ready to push out. That was, uh, and then you decide to split, like getting some people in through the servers and yeah, going. that was a bit. Uh, that was a bit of a miscommunication. We ended up going through both rooms simultaneously, and it didn't work out because one team just got run over completely. <laughs> so I'm wondering, like, who made that call on TR? Like, did you did you see those? Uh, and see people just rushing out and you had yeah. the vehicles closed? Or... This was purely uh, an individual's actions. It wasn't SL, it was this guy noticed what was going on and he did it. Yeah, I think it was Michael who had the Sunny inside. We had one Sunny before, it was mine, but it got taken down. No, I parked it at the double up at the double doors and used it as entrance. Yeah, and Michael put in the second one, I believe it was Michael. And then we had... Um, Prometheus Harassa inside as well, who road killed. So we had both Sunny yeah. and Harassa that clusterfuck on the on Yeah, the that was stairs. just... In between those buildings, we didn't have a yeah. chance. We just got completely flatted. Yeah, that was a genius move from those two. It was, it was yeah. taking our group. Um, yes, had a chance. I wanted to ask about Nanite management, because uh, we've seen, especially on the start of the second round, a lot of maxes, a lot of... Um, um, the medics using uh, raise nades and C4 to kill those maxis. Um, were you guys close uh, to not having enough nanites to bring vehicles to the next points and bring in, uh, maxis, or were you always? Uh, did you always add enough? Because the meta seems to rely, um, to use a lot of AI maxis. Um, it's uh, putting a lot of uh, more strain on the um, on the nanites. So how did you approach the nanite management during the match? Uh, for the TR side, in the first match, uh, we had to abandon our max once we had the backup going because we had a little um, screw up with our deployed Sandra. But later on, we managed to push uh, or pull two more. In the second round, we were better with transitioning our maxes. We actually had um, a Sandra ready for them to drive them to the next base to satellite. And so we could save up on nanites. But I think across the whole TR, we were pretty low. On the on the internet stuff in general, because we had to use a lot of flashes, kongs, and resonates to actually push through the points, and yeah, that took a heavy hit on us. Yep, air squad in the first round was very low on, on nanites, and there was a bloody good ESF timing right as we switch, we all switched into banshee, and then right as we did that, bam, here comes a uh, four ESF wiped us out, um, and then we were grounded after that. So I actually have another question for the PTSD guys. So as you saw in your match against 
Borg, um, it seems like the ground forces and the air people weren't coordinating. Um, it seems to have improved for this match. Is that something you Definitely. guys have worked on? Definitely. Yep. Uh, right okay. now, we've got the armor guys uh, and the air guys co coordinating, and then we can also speak to each other across squad. Yeah, and I'm screaming at them and cross squad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, he is. <laughs> I can confirm. Uh, sorry, yeah, it, it's getting better in my opinion and that's what we still need to work on like the full synergy but um today it was definitely there all right cool uh one last question before you go celebrating or at least resting and getting some breathing uh, time after that match uh how are you approaching the tournament uh, how do we approach the tournament? Was yeah, the what question? you mentioned, uh, getting inside the tournament after uh, those few practice matches and uh, the what uh, twenty days remaining in the tournament. Yeah, the tournament? we will we will do more training matches. Um, I think that's the best uh, mentor you can have those training matches. Um, I will maybe if someone is watching that from WFET, I would like to have a training match with them to compare a bit, maybe with the yeah. RP, RSPC guys, um, so that we know where we stand in our own bracket or in our own group and um yeah we will just train 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 we have our schedule um everyone knows about it so um i mean we are not contenders like we are first timers 95 percent of this team are first timers but um i hope we will do and um we will make a good show for you guys I mean, you're definitely we'll doing try our all best the right and things see where it takes us uh yeah. getting those practice matches doing those uh just getting to know everything getting your team to work well together. Um, that's just how you, you, you prepare best for, for Link Smash, especially as, as new people. And I cannot stress that enough with TATF as well. Like, get those training matches. Even like, just ask outfits. They don't even have to play Link Smash if they want to come do some practice with you guys because you, you need all the time on these lanes uh, as you can get. Um, this match really just it, showed how important that actually is. I was, I'm not sure what I was expecting, because this is actually, again, like I said, the first time I've ever done lane smash, but after playing this training set, highlights, you know, how sort of intensive it's going to be and what we're going to need to do. So it's, it's you know. There's also Castle. on the uh, lane smash discord, they are, there are some uh, lane smash mentors, you can always ask them, hey, can you come give us some tips, like what should we do, how do, how do we approach these bases, and stuff like that, they're more than willing to help you guys. Wouldn't need them, I think. This was great. This was a really good training session. Enjoyed it. Definitely. Like, it went better than I expected with the initially uh, organization problem. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I, I apologize on that. Yeah, no worries, mate. Now you know what's needed, what's necessary. Um, I really hope you guys stay in the tournament. Um, you get the people together and um, get them interested. Since your group is um, also full of new timers, as far as I know. So you will be on the same level, and mm. um, yeah, I hope you enjoy your stay in the tournament. Because yeah. last time we had quite a lot of uh, teams I hope you who didn't bracket. participate. <laughs> yeah, I hope you will stay, guys. I'm, um, um, yeah, I think. All right. Well, thank you very much uh, for both of you. Uh, congratulations, PTSD. Congratulations to you, TTF well too, because you did a really good job. So. Uh, thank you for uh, that match. Uh, thanks a lot for casting with me. Uh, and thank, uh, of course, uh, Realtor and everyone who helped me, uh, Michael and all, uh, who helped me uh, set up the stream. Uh, I hope I'm going to be able to stream uh, more practice matches too and uh, during the tournament too. I still need to train too, like uh, for the for the upscale management and everything, and commentating and making full English sentences, something that is not uh, <laughs> that easy to put out for me. But uh, thank you, everyone, and uh, I hope we are going to see you uh, around uh, for the training and for the, the tournament. Thanks GG. for streaming. And uh, GG, guys. Yeah, thanks for streaming. No. And thank you, Taif, uh, for fighting us.